The marketing world is full of great agencies and some really bad ones too. But how do you tell the difference? In this video, I'm gonna show you six of the most common red flags to spotting bad agencies and how you can cut through the BS. Red flag number one, saying they can do it all. No, just no. Every agency has a core proficiency. Ogilvy, one of the most famous advertising, marketing, and PR agencies, actually started out as an advertising agency, but focused on consumer insights. So when you meet an agency that claims to be super good at a bunch of different kinds of marketing, challenge them on it. Keep asking questions. What kinds of questions? Here are some examples. When they start talking about case studies in their pitch, pay attention to some of the common themes around them. Chances are, there's probably just one. Also in their case studies, pay attention to how recent they are. If they're from two or more years ago, that's not a good sign. Red flag. As for us at Growth Machine, we're the first to admit we don't do it all. We do content creation, SEO, and link building. And we aren't afraid to admit that because we do those things really well. Our team is made up of professional editors, SEO experts with successful side projects, and experienced project managers who keep things moving on time. Red flag number two using proprietary key performance indicators. What are proprietary key performance indicators? Basically, they're like a college student writing their own letter of rec. This is actually a thing. One PR agency I worked with swore by impressions tracked in their homegrown software and swore that one media placement secured us hundreds of millions of impressions. After I asked a couple more follow-up questions, they eventually admitted that that impression count came from a circulation number that the magazine self-reported five years ago. Red flag. So when you get to talking about metrics with your potential agency, ask them where they get their numbers from and how. If they tout impressions, ask them if the source was Google Analytics or the magazine's self-reported circulation number. If they brag about leads generated, ask them how they define a lead and what type of conversion results in one. Their answers to these questions will be crucial in understanding how they might help or hurt your marketing strategy. In the case of content marketing, the agency should be comfortable giving you verifiable metrics from software like Ahrefs or Moz. Red flag number three, hesitating to give you advice. This one's a little hard. It's super awkward to feel like you're grilling someone for a free consultation. But when you're hiring an agency, it means you're looking for expertise that you don't have in-house. So you wanna make sure that you can trust them. Do you trust me? Yes. Here's one way to do it without feeling awkward. Think about a small problem you'd want them to help you solve and ask how they tackle that problem. Show an interest in learning about how they think. If they engage your interest and impress you, bingo. If they shrug you off with delays and vague answers, you already know, red flag. For instance, we at Growth Machine truly believe that with the right tools and knowledge, anyone can grow their organic traffic. That's why we created a free seven part email course on building your site from scratch. It gives you specific advice on how to set up your website correctly, explains how to do a keyword strategy and content plan, and gives you quick advice on SEO tools. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. You might be thinking, why would we give away all this information for free? Well, if you take our course and you get the results you wanted, then you didn't need to hire us. But if you take our course and still want to hire us, then we'll already know that working together will be a great fit and that we'll be able to give you the exceptional results that you need for your content. Red flag number four, being yes people. Sometimes an agency will tell me, everything you're doing is great, keep it up, that's nice and all, but that's not really what I want to hear from an agency. After all, if everything is so great, then why am I hiring you? And if you don't think everything is great, but you're saying it anyway, then double why am I hiring you? So a while back, I worked with one SEO agency who presented their keyword strategy. It was an Excel spreadsheet with broad key terms without any metrics such as search volume or keyword difficulty. All I asked was one question. Are you sure these are the right keywords for our business? And they immediately backed down. They offered to scrap the entire keyword list and start a brand new one, all without asking any follow-up questions or for more information. It was awkward, I was frustrated, and mostly I was bothered they couldn't even stand by their initial strategy. If they are willing to abandon ship after asking one question, then why should I trust them? Red flag. So how do you avoid this? During your evaluation process, try to suss out their points of view. Ask a question like, I have this instinct about my content marketing strategy, but I'm not sure. What do you think? This helps you have those conversations about their approach to work, and you don't have to do it in a confrontational way. Red flag number five, not asking you about your audience. There's nothing worse 
than an agency who thinks they know your audience without asking you a single question about them. If an agency doesn't ask you any questions about your audience, it either means they think they already know, they don't, or they simply don't care. That's bad. So. What are some topics you can ask about? Ask them how they think about audiences and ask them how they would think about your brand voice and tone. If it's a content agency you're working with, ask them how they think about writing for conversion goals. Their answers will help you learn how they work with brand awareness goals and conversion goals. And the last red flag, red flag number six, being vague about their fees. This one will probably come towards the end of your evaluation process. There's a lot to unpack here. It's tricky because there isn't one set pricing structure for every agency. Things like marketing disciplines, agency sizes, and the work you're asking for, all of it's really different. But there are a couple of fees to keep an eye on, retainers and slush funds. Let's be clear, retainers and slush funds are not red flags, but each have components that agencies can take advantage of, which can put you at risk. Let's start with retainers. Retainer. So it's common to pay agencies a retainer for ongoing work that isn't tied to a deliverable, like a blog post or a video. For instance, you'll probably pay a PR agency a monthly retainer to help you with stuff like ongoing pitching to reporters, supplying you with briefing docs for those press interviews, and helping you with talking points. But if that PR agency asks you to commit to a monthly retainer and also charges you separately to write messaging and pitch to reporters, a uh, red flag. So see what work is included in that monthly retainer and see if that works for you. In terms of slush funds, this is basically you reserving money that your agency can use for expensive, time-sensitive marketing opportunities. Also not a red flag. Need a video for a last minute ad slot you secured? Use a slush fund for that. Need your agency to print and overnight a thousand brochures to an event? Slush fund. Slush funds can be a great thing. That way you and your agency aren't suddenly fronting the cost for a really expensive bill. But Here's the catch. Sometimes agencies will ask you to commit to a slush fund for tens of thousands of dollars with a use it or lose it policy, which means if you don't use it within a certain time frame, they'll keep the money. That's a red flag. All this to say, just ask a lot of questions. Ask them what's included in the monthly retainer, ask about expiration dates, and think through a couple of hypothetical fire drills and ask your agency how they'll support you. So to recap, the six red flags of a bad agency are saying they can do it all, using proprietary key performance metrics, hesitating to give you advice, being yes people, not asking you about your audience, and being vague about their fees. Choosing the right agency for you and your business is tough, but now you know it's six of the biggest problems to avoid, so now you're already well on your way. Be wary of red flags and ask the questions I mentioned earlier, and you'll be more than prepared to find the best agency for you. And if you've ever encountered any of the six red flags that I mentioned, leave a comment below and tell me how you handled it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.